Hi you guys, this is Sally coming to you from Amelia Salon. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about heat damage. What is heat damage and why are we all raving about heat damage and what it does to our hair? Well, heat damage is pretty much um, what we call heat damage in the trichology or cosmetology area or realm. Uh, we call it bubble hair and that will be B-U-B-B-L-E, bubble hair. Bubble hair is going to be um, where the person is getting some type of thermal treatment done to their hair and the product that we as cosmetologists have put on the client's hair and allowed it to penetrate the hair and then used a very high heat of the flat iron or the thermal curlers or blow dryer on the hair. And it tends to bubble and, or you hear that sizzle or that fry, you hear that sizzle and what it's doing is it's, it's bubbling into the, or creating air bubbles into the cortex. So the cortex is what gives us the strength in our hair strands. So when bubbles are present, what happens is, well, it swells the strand and when it, sw it swells the strand, excuse me, it causes that strand to weaken. Then when it weakens over a period of time or at the consistent thing of, of just getting the flat irons and blow dryer all the time, um, it tends to break off in the texture or if it doesn't break off the texture tends to straighten out so Therefore you're getting the the straightness in the pattern of the uh, the curl pattern. So um, you want to use very low heat um, for the hair not something that's going to be if your flat irons go to 470 you don't want to use a flat iron on um, fine hair if you're excuse me you don't want to use a flat iron of 470 if your hair is fine you want to use a a very low setting which would be probably for fine hair um, anywhere from 200 to 250. Um, for medium hair it's going to be anywhere from 300 to 375 for coarse hair then or more coarser hair yes you can use the 400 temperature or 415 or 450 but you do not want to use anything that's not geared towards the actual hair texture you want to use a temperature that's towards the hair texture so um, you want to use products on the hair that dries instantly that does not just sit on top of the cuticle or the cuticular layer and it sits there and once you put the, the flat irons on or any type of um, thermal units on that's going to bubble or make the hair boil. So um, yeah, like I said, use your heat protectants but make sure it dries fast. And if it dries fast, guess what? It's going to have a higher alcohol content into the product. So there is really pretty, pretty much no escaping um, uh, bubble hair or a little bit of heat damage. So I tend to wear my hair out in the um, twist styles a whole lot. I, if I do straighten my hair, it's probably once a year. And even in that one time a year, I can experience some type of damage to my hair. Um, I do not have bubble hair. I check my hair underneath the scope um so if i do have a strand i haven't seen one yet so um you do want to make sure that um that you're using products that or products or flat irons excuse me that is going to be um in the the temperature of the actual hair texture and the type so that is my tutorial for heat damage. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Bye.